in China for uh, for like 10 years, you know, so I spend, you know, I, I try to speak Chinese to people, right? Uh, but uh, here's what happens to me now, like I get in trouble for speaking Chinese to Asian people who are not Chinese, you know? Like the other day I got in trouble for speaking Chinese to this Filipino guy, right? And he got angry at me, he was like, dude, I'm Filipino. Now, I knew he was Filipino, because his band just finished playing Hotel California. <laughs> But like, in my mind, I just thought all Filipinos speak Spanish, you understand? And I don't speak Spanish, so I spoke Chinese to him, you know what I mean? Like, I always thought of the Philippines as the Mexico of Asia. But, but I, then again, what the fuck do I know? You know, I'm from Belarus. If somebody called Belarus the Mexico of Europe, I'd take that as a compliment. But we all know that's Poland, right? I already told you, we're the North Korea of Europe, okay? So that happens to me, but you know what else happens? Now I get in trouble for speaking Chinese to Chinese people in China, you know? Like the other day, I, I ordered uh, uh, Amer Americano at Starbucks, you know, in Chinese, and the guy responded in English, right? So, you know, I'm stubborn, I keep speaking my shitty Chinese, right? He replies in English, right? And now I'm thinking neither of us is speaking our native language, right? So I start speaking Russian to him. <laughs> he replies in perfect Russian. <laughs> Turned out the guy was from Kazakhstan. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, I'm telling you, uh, you know, I'm from the former USSR, you know, and, uh, Life uh, in the in the Soviet Union it was it was very tough, you know. I don't know how you feel about the USSR, but I feel like it was a great country, you know. Well, we were the first people to send the first man into space, which was a great challenge. But not many people know this. It was even a bigger challenge to convince him to come back. <laughs> oh man, just come back, you know. You still gotta work at the collective farm. You understand? Your family's starving, you know. We're gonna double your grain rations, but you gotta come back from space to the great country of USSR. Anyway, uh, you guys uh, have an IE? Yeah. yeah. You know, like the uh, housekeeper, right? Uh, but, but in China we call them IE because we're too lazy to remember their names. Now, I love my IE. I love her even though uh, she hides all my favorite clothes when she comes over, you know? I love her even though she breaks all my wine glasses, you know? I love her even though I can never get the internet router to work after, after she's done cleaning, you know? I love her even though she puts my cocaine in the washing machine. But I, I don't know what they cut it with here, but it gets the job done. My, my uh, clothes are always clean and really confident, people.